Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is 3D Mesh Tutorials. I go at Rudy Rudy Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm in Copper Cube 6.5.1 and I'm going to show you how to use actions and behaviors with a third person character. You can use the action and behaviors by using the animation to open doors, to uh, crush bricks, uh, uh, like hit the rocks to get gold and stuff like that. So I'm not going to talk much. I'm going to get into this tutorial. Okay, so I have a first person character. I'm going to show you. This is just a basic uh, layout with a floor we have a cube and there's a third person character with a three basic uh, animations like running uh, walking and idling okay so there's another animation of that one that is a hit animation as you can see you can put the axe in the character's hand or maybe a bat or a piece of wood but i'm gonna use a big slash hammer slate hammer to, to open doors and stuff like that i'm gonna you, you can use it for anything i'm not gonna create a game i'm just showing you guys how you can use the uh, collider and uh, um, on proximity to um, and add some um, actions and behaviors okay so that you can have some uh, um, mechanics in your scene okay so um there's the animator the animated mess i'm gonna you need first thing we need to do we need to add a node we need to create a node we need to attach it to the character okay there you go, attach a node. Um, there you go, create a node. No, that's the wrong one. Sorry, guys. We just don't do that. My name is 3D Mesh Tutorials. I go at Rudy Rudy Tutorials and I'm showing you how to use actions and behaviors in CopQ 6.5.1. This is not a pro version, this is the normal version, guys, standard version. So you can use the pro version, standard version doesn't matter. So I added the node and I'm going to find a place a placeholder where I can put the node. I'm gonna use the right hand. Okay, there's the right hand. Now the next thing we need to do, as you can see, there's a green box. The green box that indicates where the node is. Okay, so you can attach something there to your uh, character like a weapon or whatever you want to attach to the character but you have to make sure that the thing is not uh, dynamic and needs to be static okay so i'm going to create a cube within that um, maximal rig maximal right hand a node okay i'm gonna put it on a 2.5 it's not attached i need to okay let me just first put it on a, a decent place let's go down we need to drag this into the maximum right hand okay it is now joined with the node as you can see there it also scaled to the same size of the node <coughs> right so i need to scale that up a bit okay so that we can have a handle i need a handle and i'm going to rotate this handle so that it's suitable in, in, inside of the player's hand we, we need to position it on the right place okay that's that's almost there so just give me a few minutes a few moments i'm not minutes it won't take so long just to put this on you need to play around with it okay guys because as you can see i'm using a idle animation i don't i'm not gonna use the t-pose i didn't import the t-pose but uh, i think that is an a good idea to input the import the t-pose also then you can use the t-pose to add your your weapons to your character because the animate animation is making it a bit difficult but as you can see there it's not 100 percent i can play around with it uh, for that uh, handle as you can see there i need to play around and i also need to scale it up a bit make it much longer so that it fills up the whole space to from the one end to the other end okay i'm in copper cube 6.5.1 i'm at root rudy tutorials and i'm showing you how to use actions and behaviors uh opening doors with third person character without pressing any keys okay you're just going to use the animation with a collider so stick with me guys the, okay that looks a bit that looks much better but you see it in the other hand the right hand it's not properly it's not properly rotate it i need to rotate it so that it fits in both ends okay it's not gonna be 100 percent guys but um i'm gonna try my best and i don't think because this is not actually the animation is not actually made for what i i'm busy with now with this tutorial but yeah it's fine okay so 
let me just rotate it as you can see I'm playing around with it a bit okay right let's try again okay I don't want it to clip through the purse to the character's uh, body it looks much better that is much better I'm just gonna play around with it more okay it's almost there it's almost there like I said you know what I'm gonna do at the end of this tutorial I'm going to um, upload this project to my itch.io account and you guys I'll leave a link I can't leave a link in the description anymore I don't know what's wrong with YouTube but anyway you can go to my home page and you'll find all the links to my websites there you can go to my itch.io account and you'll find this project there for absolutely free okay with the character and all of the mechanics and you can use this character in a game or whatever you want to do I'm not gonna take you guys through all those pain you can you can try it on your own if you want to watch this tutorial but uh, like I said I leave a link in the description in the you can go to my main page and you'll find a link to my itch.io account and you can download this project there's a bunch of projects you can download tutorial videos also that I made private that uh, I don't want anyone just to you know pick up on what I'm doing I want a few people just to have the uh, breather and to use my projects without knowing that everyone else is uh, using the same system okay so that's why I made some of the tutorials videos I made it private on my itch.io account you can watch it there or you can download the video and you can watch it privately okay you'll also find some characters there you can download for free it's uh, Mixam of Fuse characters so you can go to my itch.io account but yeah back to the tutorial as you can see there I'm playing around with the handle and um, I think I'm gonna speed up this process I don't want to make this video too long okay so I'm gonna speed up this process okay that should do it so I'm gonna I'm just added another spe uh, uh, a cube I just duplicated the one cube the one mesh mesh two cube mesh 2 I, I, I just uh, duplicated that cloned it so now I'm giving it a different shape I'm gonna use this for the hammer head okay this is the head of the hammer this is the part where I'm going to add the collider okay we don't need the stick the handle part we just need the head of the hammer okay let me just place it on the uh, on, on its uh, rightful place it should be uh, in front okay front of the handle because this is the part where we swing we're going to swing this hammer so hard that it opens doors and breaks walls and stuff like that okay so let's see how that works out for us right we are walking and now we are going to hit Wara, as you can see there but I need to uh, rotate the head it's not I don't like that the way if you can see there as you can see it's flat I want to I want it to, to have a realistic uh, swing like I need to rotate this front section now let's scale it rather I'm not gonna rotate it otherwise it's gonna go bonkers but this is the way it should be it should point down downwards and upwards let's see I think it should work properly now all right let's let's take a hit with it the swing okay there you go as you can see that's a perfect now I can even put the, the collider where I want it on that cube as you can see there so it can make contact with something okay so that part is now sorted we added a third person character in the previous video this video I'm, um, I'm assembling the hammer with the collider the hammer is now finished there's no collider yet so uh, I'm gonna take you into that also um, I just, I'm just showing you that the character and the animation is now properly set up with the hammer and uh, we need to make this hammer active so that it can react to what other items within your scene but the scene what other stuff it needs to have colliders also okay it needs not it does it must be static not dynamic items okay so that's not there's not gonna be any animations on them I'm just going to use the default cube and stuff within copper cube for now but you can use your own discretion when you have this project you can add some animation walls that when you eat it it breaks apart like in pieces and stuff like that or you can use a sprite 
Ok, you can use a sprite also, a transparent sprite, a uh, particle system that, that looks like breaks, something is breaking or it's like an explosion. But anyway, uh, my, my name is uh, Ed Rood, Rudy Tutorials and I'm in Copper Cube and I'm showing you how to use actions and behaviors with a third person character that has a weapon and that weapon is going to open doors, break stuff and whatever you want it to do okay so just watch this tutorial don't skip it it's very helpful guys okay so i'm just um saving this project guys because why i don't want this application to freeze on me it did freeze once or twice don't know why um i usually do my windows every month I do I renew my windows upload new windows and stuff like that so I don't know and I have new hard drives but um it's not copper cube it's not the application it must be on my my system but yeah when I when it crashes I lose that all of that information okay that projects so um yes you need to save your projects as you go along right okay there we go we have a nice third person character there with, with the hammer slash hammer there you go okay the next thing we're going to do let's create a door out of this cube let's make a door I'm just gonna scale it up like that okay um, move it up also right there you go um, for now I'm it's just gonna be a big rock okay just uh, just something we can use into the in the scene i'm not gonna make this tutorials um, spicy i'm just gonna use the basic um, behaviors and actions okay just to show you guys how to act how to uh, how to use actions and behaviors okay all right we just Put this collider center on the cube they made. I need it to be center on the made. I think it's going to be a 05. Must be there. You go 05 in the y axis. Right. That's the relative position. So I'm gonna just scale him a little bit on the size on the y axis also on a 8.0 now it should be big enough to to collide with event on proximity okay we need to add event on proximity mm, nope not here i need to go to the door do we need to add another on proximity I need to go to the door, man. That camera direction on it. Okay, here we need to add on the cube the door. I'm gonna rename it now to door, guys. Don't worry. Okay, we're not gonna use the spear. I'm gonna use the box, and I'm just gonna scale him uh, um, close closer to the the cubes, the door size. Okay, and I go with the 15.0 on the x axis. Okay. And the Y, I'm gonna go 10. Let's go 10, 10, 20 or 10, 10, 15. 10, 10, 15 should be suitable. Now that is going to be spot on the same size as the box. I don't want it the same size. Let's go for 12.0 on the end. It's, I think that's the X axis, no? Yeah. Okay. Now that is the Z axis. Right. So we're not gonna use the current active camera. I need to go fetch the node. And that is why I said I need to rename this cube mess 3 to hammer. It's going to be hammerhead and attributes. We, you can rename it here in attributes guys so that you don't get uh, confused in your hierarchy and looking for stuff. So you need to rename it as you move along. Okay. This is going to be the hammerhead underscore head. Right enter. 
battery name cube mesh too also that is only going to be the hammer handle that's the hammer handle right let's go back to the door need to go back to the door now You see they already get confused guys because I'm not naming my stuff but anyway let's proceed um, current I need to go fetch the emmet like I said this is going to be the collider right and then we have our action on entry and I'm going to delete I see now I'm going to delete it we can hide it if you want to, you can let it break like I said, put some animations on it. I'm gonna show you in this video, I'm gonna put some animations on it, but for now I'm just gonna show you the basics, okay? Alright, let's see how that works out for us. So when I eat it, it's supposed to delete, and there you go guys. That is how you use a weapon in your, in your, in your scenes. Uh, with animation and put a collider on it and you can use that weapon to open doors and stuff so your character you don't have to press buttons uh, uh, always press an E button or F button and put some UI on the screen you know you can even when you come uh, approach the door which item you're going to break you can put up uh, on proximity you can make the box another box that shows you what uh, key you should press or just press hit or whatever okay but like I said, this is going to be a basic tutorial just to show you how to use this mechanics. And after that, you can use your own discretion. Okay. So the next thing I wanted to do is, um, I actually wanted that cube to, to have physics. Okay. Like when I eat it, it just, I, it like blows away, you know. No, I don't think I have a, a script for that. Okay, I have a bunch of scripts I downloaded from, I think it's Glitch Velocity's uh, um, website, where you can find some ambient scripts, uh, Java scripts he created so that you can use it in your games. Glitch Velocity, that guy has a channel creates a bunch of tutorials also like you can create, create shaders and stuff like that okay particle systems that is glitch velocity you can look him up in youtube you'll find him he's got his own channel okay awesome channel that i learned a lot there by that guy guys i, mean, I have to tell you comes along he comes along very for a long time on youtube okay so that is that guys um, like I said, if you haven't watched the video on how I imported the third person character and put in all this uh, key press uh, behaviors and actions in, you need to watch the previous video. There's a bunch of videos in my, in my channel you can watch on importing 3D characters with multiple animations and adding weapons and all of that stuff. Okay, my name is uh, Rude Rudy Tutorials. I go at Rude Rudy Tutorials and I'm creating tutorial videos for you guys in Copper Cube, Unity, Unreal Engine if I have the capacity to do it. But I'm, 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 I'm mostly on no coding game engines. Okay, like 3D Red. Copper Cube, uh, 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 Salad, and um, Game Guru. There's a bunch of guys, there's a bunch of game engines, but mostly I use Copper Cube because I like Copper Cube, it's very straightforward. Okay, and uh, you can like compile your game in minutes, seconds actually, and you can even create Android games and upload it to. The Google Store without any problems. You are, you understand what I'm saying? Man, it's a low budget uh, graphics and, and and systems that you are using, but you can create nice games out of it for people that have low end PCs and that can't afford that triple A games. Okay, but for now I'm going to open the project again, and now I'm going to show you guys. 